Hey everybody, Adam here with Hometown Acres. Welcome back. So today, we're gonna try to get the F-150 stuck. No, not really. We're not gonna try to get the F-150 stuck, but with what we're doing today, it's probably pretty likely. Stick around. So if you watched our last video, you saw I was going over all the different firewood equipment that we have. Uh, one of them being this 2016 Ford F-150, and then our most recent purchase is this 7x14 dump trailer. Now, even though we have all this snow on the ground, I'm still gonna try to move this trailer into the firewood lot and park it underneath the Easton Made Access conveyor and fill it up. So I am fully expecting to get stuck simply because this trailer alone, empty, weighs 3,300 pounds. We've got snow and it's been melting for two or three days now and we've got mud. So I'm hoping I don't get stuck, but I will not be surprised if I do. Before we can think about pulling the dump trailer underneath the conveyor here, uh, if you remember, we've got about six pallets underneath there, and I've got to get this basket out of the way so I can pull right through here. So we're going to grab the forks and the tractor and get this ready for the dump trailer to pull in. So there we go, we got the trailer pulled in, didn't get stuck. We did have to go around and make a second pass just because I'm not used to the turning radius yet. And I also needed to figure out what the height of this conveyor is so I could get the trailer underneath it. So the second time around we got it and right now, looks like this is gonna dump right in there. And then as we fill up here in the front, we'll go ahead and pull forward a little bit and then we'll start to fill up the back.
I got all that maple that was in the back of the three-point carry all split and loaded into the dump trailer. That's about how much it was. I'm gonna guess a little less than a third of a cord. And then since I had to disconnect the truck and run a few errands, I jacked up the dump trailer and then put the kickstand underneath here. So that way, if it was gonna rain, all the rainwater would run out the end of it and not just let that wood sit in there. The only thing I'm not too crazy about is the kickstand is on the right side. So you can see on the dump trailer here, the left side there is a little bit cockeyed and I'm not sure if that's gonna bend the frame. I think for short-term purposes, it'll be all right, but I probably wouldn't wanna leave it like that for a week or two. So here's another thing I thought of, rather than hooking the truck back up to move the dump trailer forward and backward to even out the load, I think what I'm gonna start doing, and I'm gonna try it today, is just raising the dump trailer all the way up and sliding all the wood back towards the back and then dropping it back down. So where the conveyor is loading into will clear out every time I raise it. All right, I'd say that worked out pretty well. Let the machinery work for you instead of working the machinery. Right where the conveyor's at, where all that wood was piled up, has now slid down to the back end, and we're clear to go ahead and start splitting again. Let's get the tractor and get some wood blocked up. So that was three logs there, and those were probably 18 to 20 inches in diameter. And I know that's not a lot of wood to cut at one time while you got the saw running, but that's just not the way I operate. If you watch Chris from In the Woodyard, he's a wild man. He'll run chainsaw for eight hours one day and then split for eight hours the next day. I get bored too easy to do that. I gotta cut for a half hour, split for a half hour, cut for a half hour, split for a half hour. Otherwise I get too bored or too tired or something. I like to keep things fresh and keep it changed up. 
So yeah, I know these won't fill the rest of the dump trailer, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and get them split up, keep our work area clean so we're not tripping over logs. And then once we get them loaded in the dump trailer there, we can reassess how many more logs we need to pull out of the log pile here to finish up the job. All right, so that is the seven by 14 dump trailer, almost full of wood. As you can see, there's still room for quite a bit more wood, but it's three o'clock, I'm running out of daylight, and I wanna get back in the woods to see if I can get a deer. One thing I did wanna mention is that the seven foot conveyor that comes on the east and made axis is a little bit short for loading a dump trailer. Don't get me wrong, it's definitely tall enough to get it up and over the side rails of the dump trailer, but as you saw in that time lapse, I had to get the rake out three or four times to smooth out the top of that pyramid of wood. And then towards the end, I started chucking the wood in just to fill in the gaps. So do I wish the Easton Made Axis had a longer conveyor so that it could reach the center of the dump trailer rather than piling it up on one side? Absolutely. But that's not what this machine was designed for. This machine was designed to be a mobile workstation. And if you put any longer of a conveyor on there, you'd have issues going underneath bridges and everything like that. So while I wish I had a longer conveyor, I understand why I can't. So let me know in the comments below if you can think of any other workarounds for dealing with a shorter conveyor. The things I've thought of so far are obviously pulling the trailer forward and back to change the position of where the conveyor is dropping it in the dump trailer, lifting the dump trailer up to get everything to slide to the back, getting a rake out and smoothing out that top of that pyramid, speeding up the conveyor so it'll kind of shoot wood over to the other side of the dump trailer, but that's kind of counterproductive because your conveyor and your splitter share the same hydraulic pump, and when you speed up the conveyor, it's gonna slow down the cycle time of the splitter. And then the last thing, obviously, is whenever you get a big pyramid built up, kind of my last resort is just hand chucking the wood in to fill the gaps. So let me know in the comments below if there's anything I haven't thought of. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, click that subscribe button, and check out some other videos. Thanks for watching.